Before we begin, there are a few key things to keep in mind when spraying. One is the weather, humidity in particular. It can really affect things such as dry times, so pay attention to the weather conditions recommended on the spray can. You should also avoid any wind or drafts, which can make it difficult to spray consistently. And yet, for safety, it's vitally important to work in an area that's properly ventilated. The first step in the process is to prep the lenses by cleaning them with our wax and tar remover. Then you have a choice. You can either leave the lenses on the car for tinting, or you can remove them. We've decided to tint on the car, so our next step is to mask off around the lenses to protect the rest of the car from overspray. Now for the tinting. You want to hold the can about 10 to 16 inches from the lens. Then, in steady, even back and forth motions, slightly overlap each pass. It's important to keep the can in motion while spraying so the tint doesn't build up in one area, causing it to run. Notice how our Rust-Oleum Any Angle Spray technology enables you to spray even with the can upside down. This makes tinting the lenses while on the vehicle a whole lot easier. Also, the comfort button eliminates discomfort from spraying, making the spray experience much more comfortable. You can apply a second coat within one hour of the first coat or after 24 hours. Do not over tint because the opacity of the lens could be affected. The final step is cleanup. For our any angle spray tips, simply wipe them off. For our standard tips, remove and clean with mineral spirits. And by the way, when the can is empty, it can be recycled. Well, that does it. A couple coats of lens tint and your vehicle has a distinctive new look. So now, take some time and check out the rest of our videos at www.rustoleumautomotive.com for other ideas and solutions to customize and protect your vehicle.